It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. When it comes down to the origin of the universe, I just simply have no idea about the origin of the universe. And to me at least, any person that says that they absolutely know about the origin of the universe, to me they're arrogant or just lying. Because when it comes down to that origin of the universe stuff, I just simply do not know. But when it comes down to the ideas of the various type of supernatural beings, like you know, the Greek gods, the Mesopotamian gods, or the Roman gods, or the Christian god, or any other god or mythology, I cannot really say I buy into those kind of concepts. And even though I don't necessarily buy into those kind of concepts, it seems as though that one particular religion is pretty much suffering heavily from political correctness, largely because like a lot of people are basically afraid to offend that particular religion. Political correctness is usually defined as the avoidance often considered to be taken as extremes of forms of expression or actions that are perceived to exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who socially disadvantage or discriminate against. There are two different stories in this video that I want to talk about when it comes down to the idea of political correctness against this one religion because it seems as though that many people in the West have in their mindset that that particular group or religious groups is actually being discriminated against because of their religion. Four Wakefield pupils suspended at the Quran Damage at school. Wednesday's incidents at Wakefield's Kintel Trope High School happened when a copy of the Islamic text was brought by a 10-year-old pupil. Head teacher Stordar Griffin said the book remained intact and there was no malicious intent from those involved. He held a meeting with a concerned community leaders on Friday. He said reports the Quran has been burned or destroyed were untrue and he expected the book himself during the meeting. Mr. Akbar said he told the book was taken to a school as a dare by a pupil who lost while playing a Call of Duty video game with other students. While at the school, it sustained a slight tear to the cover and smears of dirt on some of the pages. Mr. Akbar said he understood it and been kicked around in the school premise and claimed denied by the school. Head teacher Mr. Griffin said in a statement, we would like to reassure all our community that the holy books remain fully intact and that our initial inquiries indicate that there is no malicious attempt by those involved. There seems to be a bit of a double standard here. Again, I am not religious at all, but it seems as though that when it comes down to books like the Bible, like anybody can desecrate the Bible in any shape, way, and form. Like, there's entire art pieces right now as I speak where people just put the Bible in a toilet, they can flush it and do whatever they want to. They can burn the Bible, they can just do anything. And by the way, I'm in favor of people doing what they want with their books. And so that's part of property rights, where basically anybody that owns something can do whatever that they want to. And so I'm not saying that's actually a bad thing, it's just seeing us know that anyone can do that. But when it comes down to certain books, in particular this one, the Quran, like that's a humongous no-no. Like do you think that the school will make a humongous fuss about somebody damaging the Bible? I don't think so. I truly, honestly don't think so. But for some reason, the Quran is treated like a higher standard than any other book that's probably in the school. I don't think anybody, at least to my knowledge, was actually suspended for, you know, damaging like a book for like, you know, a math book or a science book or an English book or whatever kind of book. But this book <laughs> is a higher standard than all these other books. It's amazing to me. Minnesota University under fire for a professor's dismissal of showing images of the Prophet Muhammad. The conflict began in October when Professor Erika Lopez included a 14th century painting depicted the Prophet Muhammad and a lesson on Islamic art prompting a Muslim student in the class to complain in the university, according to media reports and advocacy groups that have backed either the professor or the student. Pater was aware for many Muslim, visual depiction of Prophet Muhammad violate their faith. A course syllabus she has shown in media interviews noted 
that students will view images of religious figures, including Muhammad. The syllabus also included an offer to work with students uncomfortable with viewing those images. This is absolutely amazing to me. It seems as though that that teacher tried her hardest to tell students, hey, this is what you're going to expect in my classroom, and he still got upset, and he still reported the teacher for making them upset. The whole entire purpose of colleges is to challenge our preconceptions, and basically there would be like a lot of topics in college that's going to actually challenge what we think and what we believe. And honestly, I don't think that colleges or universities are for everybody. Now, of course, the idea is that college universities for everybody is prompt to us from our parents or from my peers or from high school teachers. But honestly, I don't think that's the case. Some people are just better off without college and they make it out just fine. Like some people like, you know, Mark Zuckerberg was actually a college dropout. He made it successful in life. It's the same thing with Bill Gates. And so not, so no, college is not for everybody in the slightest. Though I do think, however, that the idea that it was like for any other group, of course, there would be no reports whatsoever about a particular religious figure outside of Muhammad. But because it's Muhammad, that's why she got canceled. That is crazy to me. Really, really crazy. Another thing I just simply do not understand is how criticizing a religion is the exact same thing as being racist against somebody. When you criticize a religion, you're criticizing the tenets, you're criticizing ideas within the doctrine. But if you criticize this one particular religion, you must be evil, you must have a phobia, you must be a racist. And that's just simply not true. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, for my case at least, I have no problem as somebody's, like, you know, religious or not. Like, basically, I try to judge people on an individual basis. Would I have, I guess, problem with the ideas of religions? Yes. But as individuals, I would try to treat people as, like, individuals. But, like, this idea, this notion that you're a racist for criticizing ideas, again, it's like a very crazy thing that only happens when you criticize Islam. But anyway, what do you guys think? Is political correctness for Islam going too far? Tell me in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I want to trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.